Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. In the last tutorial, we created a animated uh, toggle button, and we told that uh, we will be doing a quiz, and we will be using the toggle button in our quiz app. So here we are with our quiz app tutorial, and we will be adding quiz app to our existing app and we will also explaining how the quiz app was coded so quiz app is a very good way to uh, create something which allows your user to interact with your app and thus it makes your app interesting to your users so uh, I think that in most of the content based app quiz app will be very uh, useful to add uh, and uh, so you can just uh, check this tutorial and you can add a quiz to any of your apps and make it more interesting to your users so the app that we are going to add a quiz app is a boiler app created sorry a boilerplate uh, app uh, that is created by us and it is a membership app so uh, we have created this app so that we can use it in all our tutorials and uh, it has all the basic features that we need uh, in most of the apps we need the membership features that is login registration email verification user listing these uh, in-app messaging and these are few more features that uh, can enhance the functionality of your membership app that is filters that is you can filter users on basis of distance on basis of skills so you can check the demo of this app uh, on iTunes and you can uh, download it to your mobile and you can check it for yourself how it works and uh, hopefully you will like it and uh, you can also get this uh, boilerplate app for yourself I have added all the links here in our website if you check the uh, tutorial article on our website you will find all the links here and I will also add these links to the video that I am doing so that you can check it from there as well so you can use this uh, if you uh, use this boilerplate app you can create many different apps from it you can it can be modified especially uh, the distance filter can be used in uh, most of the apps and this skill based filter can be modified uh, uh, in this app it has been used for programming skills you can modify it for uh, different uh, fields like if you are creating a photography website you can uh, add the skills based on photography if you are creating some different uh, uh, app for some different field you can modify the skills for that particular field so it can be used for this this is just a boilerplate app and you can modify it to uh, create any different any app any membership app okay so uh, let's uh, get back to the quiz part so we will be adding the quiz to this uh, specific boilerplate app uh, and uh, this tutorial will be from the point where uh, quiz app starts so uh, there will be a navigation link uh, we have created a navigation link on this boilerplate app and once the user clicks that link uh, he is navigated to the quiz uh, screen so let's check the code of the quiz screen this is the quiz code of the quiz screen and uh, we have named the quiz screen as play quiz okay and the basic uh, thing that is going on in this screen is that we have created a state called quiz finish state and quiz finish state is initially set to false and uh, so when the state is in false uh, the, when the state uh, this state is in false status then uh, we are rendering the quiz component and if it is set to true that is that means the quiz has finished and then we are rendering the scores so if it is f 
false then the quiz is rendered and if it is true then scores are rendered that is basically what's happening in this screen so for scores uh, for the calculation of scores and what message we have to display or, or, base, or based on different scores we have created one method that is score message and uh, there are different conditions and based on the score uh, made by the user or player uh, a specific message with their score is getting rendered or being shown to them and if it is set to false then the quiz component is getting rendered so let's check the code of quiz component in the quiz component basically uh, we are first uh, assigning a constant with quiz data here we are using a json uh, data so that uh, this uh, this is basically a no sql format of json data and uh, it it has been uh, we have created it in such a way that you can use the same format with any database like no sql database like uh, firebase and you can uh, use it to store it and you can fetch it from there and you can use it in in this app so it will provide you flexibility and you can uh, add more and more questions options or even you can create multiple uh, uh, quizzes uh, for example we have created a, a, a quiz on react.js you can create a quiz on react.js you can create a quiz on php you can create a quiz on uh, wordpress or any other programming language or any other field so it, if you save the this quiz data in any database it will give you a lot of flexibility so suppose you uh, put this app on app store then you don't have to uh, update the app and wait for uh, approval of the app to be updated so this data shouldn't be hard coded but just for the sake of simplicity of this tutorial we have hard coded this data one another thing is that when you will put this data in the database you have to modify a uh, code a bit so that you can the time it takes to fetch that time you have to just render something else like activity indicator or something so there will be a uh, async rendering uh, of this questions and answers and uh, that empty time that you get meanwhile you have to display something else like some activity indicator so uh, let's get back to the this quiz so this uh, data we are assigning here to a constant and then we are converting this uh, json to an array we are converting it to array so that we can easily navigate through the uh, questions one by one whenever the user clicks the ne next button or sorry it taps the next button and here we have uh, two class variables qno and score so qno is basically uh, tracking the question numbers so as the user uh, mo uh, moves through the quiz this uh, increments uh, one by one and also as the users uh, goes I means quiz progresses then scores is calculated and saved in this class variable score so these two variables are for that purpose and these two methods prev and next is to navigate uh, to the previous question and to the next question uh, we are not using this previous part in this quiz we are just allowing user to navigate to the next question but if you want this uh, this method is there and if you want you can use it in your app and uh, another thing uh, another method that is here is answer method where actually the uh, score is getting calculated so every time user is uh, 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 making a right answer selection uh, the score is being added here and uh, if you see the when we, uh, I will go through the demo, you will see that uh, if user unchecks the question, uh, sorry, uh, unchecks the option and moves to another option, then we need to uh, decrement this 
uh, score so for that purpose the everything uh, calculation of the score uh, according to users option selection is happening here in this answer method okay so uh, that's it that's it what's happening in the uh, quiz component and uh, finally we are rendering the quiz here and uh, so uh, there are quite a uh, things that you can modify and you can make this quiz interesting so the things are like you can uh, add several types of quizzes we have done with one we have done only one quiz you can add more types of quizzes because already that uh, the data is in a particular format that more quizzes can be added and then there is uh, if you go for the membership app the boilerplate membership app then you can uh, list the users according to to the scores that they make in the quiz so the user with the highest score will be listed first and user with the lowest will be listed at last so in this way you can sort short, uh, sort the uh, sequence of the user listing and uh, that will make uh, things more competitive for the user and user will try to uh, go for more and more quizzes and they will uh, try to uh, make their profile list uh, at the top so that 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 is one uh, thing that will make the app interesting then you can uh, save the you can uh, save the data in the data a database like firebase and uh, make things flexible and uh, also you can uh, enhance the animation effects that we have created we haven't done much with the animation effects you can also add sound effects okay so these are the few things that you can uh, add and you can make app more interesting but basically uh, what a quiz app should be has been uh, done here and uh, let's uh, check the check how the quiz app is working so here i have the demo of the boilerplate app with the quiz app that we have done so boiler in the boilerplate app basically uh, the user is getting listed and uh, here if you see we have a filter so if we go to the filter there, is, there are two types of filter distance filter and skills filter so we can either turn on the distance filter or turn off the distance filter so if you see right now the distance filter is turned on okay so there are one or two profiles that is not being shown here because they, uh, that profile is out of the distance mentioned here so if we go ahead and switch off the distance filter right now the distance filter is switched off then you can see one more profile is has been added here so distance filter is working quite good if we like change the distance and go back you will see no it's nothing has changed let's make it a little bit lesser okay you can see that most of the profile has been filtered so the distance filter is how it's working uh, is that the people uh, who are nearby are listed right now who are within 32 kilometers are listed here right now and if we increase it then also the list will increase now the uh, users who are far away are also getting listed also there is skill filters like if you uh, there is ios expert if i check this off then ios expert should disappear so you can see there is no ios expert now right now so this is how skill filter and distance filter is working and uh, you can check the demo of this here
so we have it on iTunes and you can just check the demo and uh, and you can even go for the code you just have to use these links to go for the code and let's get back to the quiz part so once the user logs in he can see the quiz link and this is how he can go to the quiz uh, so let's try to answer the quiz so react is a dash library java php javascript ios so react is a javascript library we will check javascript and move to next dash tag syntax is used in react and we use jsx in react so let's check it application built with just react usually have single root dom node double root dom node multiple root dom node none of the above so if you if you see if we check single root dom node you will see that we won't be able to check any other buttons and if we uncheck this we can check the other button again we cannot check other button again we uncheck this then we can check other button so this is working fine I mean this is working quite good that user can select uh, one option you can modify the code so that user can select multiple options like you can uh, make user select either two options or make user select either three options uh, depending upon your requirement of your quiz so let's move to the next question react elements are mutable immutable variable none of the above so it's immutable react allows to split ui into independent and reusable pieces of dash function array components json data so it's components okay so it says you are the master congrats you scored 100 percent so uh, our quiz is working fine and i hope you would have liked the quiz that we have created and if you like it please give a thumbs up and please share it with your fellow programmers and developers and thank you guys so much for watching it and if you also like the boilerplate app that we have created go for it and uh, it will uh, provide a support and encouragement if you go for that boilerplate app and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned by uh, subscribing to the uh, our, news uh, new uh, our newsletter on website nobook.com and also subscribe to the uh, our news channel youtube news channel and stay tuned thank you